I'm here with the fantastically fabulous Rhonda Birchwall. Oh, hi, Rhonda. Hello, beautiful man. Who have we got here? We have got Zorro. Hello, Zorro. Zorro. You are a very handsome man. Oh, yes, he's in desperate need of a, a groom. Well, he's, it's a bit kind of scruffy chic, isn't it? It is. You can see he's got his, what, what do you call he's got this? his man bun on, man which bun. is pretty trendy. And is this Jean-Paul Gaultier? Yes. <laughs> is well, he kind of... As you do on a follows, Sunday afternoon. Follows in mummy's footsteps like a bit of designer, likes a bit Doesn't of fashion. a bit of fashion. He loves a bit of fashion and he loves a bit of celebrity too. Absolutely. Tell me some stories about his celebrity crushes. Well, he has crushes on, uh, every time the grand final of The Voice, yeah. uh, he's got a thing for, for the uh, judges. He, he does a very good Delta impersonation. Uh, Kylie Minogue, um, Kelly Rowland even actually. Oh, yeah. We posted and Kelly's a big fan now, she follows. <laughs> Um, puts on the wigs, puts on the dresses. It's probably my... So he dresses up as the hosts. And it's the pathetic mum that um, kind of, uh, you know, organises the wigs, but he dresses up and he actually quite enjoys... How did he go up. being seal with all this hair all over him? Oh, well, we had to put on a bit of a magic skull cap. He wore a get, skull cap? To get the nude illusion. <laughs> but um, he, this, this guy, though, he's the, the friendliest kind of big teddy bear you would ever wish for, even though, it, I mean, he scares the dickens out of a lot of people just because of his size, but he's he's a big teddy who dresses very stylishly. <laughs> well, I look forward to seeing you on the stage again, Rhonda, and I'm going to keep my eyes out for Zorro on the next runway at Fashion Week. Oh, Fashion Week, indeed. <laughs> he's just too handsome.